Hi there, friends. As you read in the description, it is day five of the man flu at Shea Barkovich. Things seem to be improving today. Um, let's get bigger. Things seem to be improving today. Uh, Justin is up a little bit more than he was yesterday. Hi, Candace. Um, Dylan seems to be back on his feet. Chase never got it, which thank you, God, because Chase is special. Hi, Jamie. So, um, yes, we are still housebound, trapped here, and uh, everyone is still needing me for everything, but I was able to actually take a shower and wash my hair today and do a little masking, and now I'm going to get dressed and, you know, oh my God. <laughs> Girl, it is so real. I don't know what it is. Like, did it just affect men? Because, like, I've been fine. But, um, you know, I don't obviously want to jinx that. But um, the men in my house have fallen. Like, Justin is going to get... He's going to watch this later and yell at me. I don't care. I love you, boo. But he is going to get an Oscar for the most dramatic lead role in a drama series. The other night, the moaning on the couch... I was, I was literally texting my friend. I'm like, I think he's crowning because any second now I'm going to need to go get the clean towels and I'm going to need to get some, like something going on. Oh, that's better. Because he's going to produce a child any second with the noises coming out of this man. But it was just the man flu. Um, a little touch glorious primer while we continue chatting. So um, I've also banished him out of the bedroom. And he has been sleeping downstairs. I don't know why he hasn't been sleeping in the guest room. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Leah. So I told him he couldn't sleep in the bedroom with me while he was like tossing and turning and moaning all night long. I'm like, one of us needs to sleep because I have to take care of you and the kids. So you got to go to the guest room. But for some reason, he's been camping out. Hi, Marianne. He's been camping out on the couch downstairs. So... He's been complaining that he's not sleeping well, which none of us are sleeping well. I'm listening to the kids cough on their monitors all night. Because, yes, my, my youngest will be four in March. And I still have a monitor in his room. Because I can't let go. I'm a psycho. But I'm doing my makeup today for a number of factors. Number one is it makes me feel like a normal human. And number two is, yesterday I did not plan on going out, but Dylan started pulling on his ear, so I took him to urgent care, and it turns out he has another double ear infection. And when I went to go check out of urgent care, the nice girls at the reception desk were like, I hope you don't take offense to this, but we really like your makeup, you're good at it. And I was like, thank you, sweet, kind souls. I needed this today, because all I've heard since Tuesday is, Mom. I need this. Do we have any tissues? Can you get me this? I need that. So it was nice to just have a little, you know, female hoorah happening for me. Um, so we're going to use the kudos today, meaning we're going to use a quad palette that I customized. So this is optimistic, lively, nimble, and nonsensical. And we're going to do like a really pretty neutral eye with like a little bit of like a fiery pop in it. And we're going to use my new favorite, I think this might be my signature lipstick. This is um, Subtle. It's one of our brand new nudes. This one's like a rosy mauve, and I wore it yesterday, and I was truly in love with it. And of course, Epic Mascara also comes in that. You can pick from black, brown, or waterproof. But all of the lipsticks and the eyeshadows are customizable, so you can pick whichever one you want. All right, so face is good. We're going to go in with Touch Liquid Foundation, and this is in the shade Eyelet, and I'm just going to go in and kind of blend it up because it's a mineral product, and it does settle, and you want it to get all mixed in, and I'm going to blend it in with a wet, that's not really wet, it's a damp, clean blending sponge. This is an Eco Tool sponge, and I get them at Target, and then I buy backups because my dog finds them and eats them all the time. Gotta love the boxers. Okay, so I'm just gonna go put this on my face where I want to position it, and then we will blend it in. So hopefully this is the last day of man flu. 
because I can't take much more and I have to go to work tomorrow and I need to know that they're all going to be okay. I tend to hover. Like, I probably, probably don't need me as much as I think they do. But I'm a helpful gal. Okay. We call this foundation Photoshop in a bottle because it really, really is. And I've been blending this with BB cream, but because I did, um, I did a exfoliating mask last night before bed and I did a detox mask this morning before I got in the shower. So my face is actually really well moisturized right now. So I figured I'd save the BB cream for another day and just show you the liquid touch. This is also a water, called a water weight foundation. So if you are used to getting foundation from other stores that's really thick and creamy, this is not the consistency at all. Like it literally comes out like drops of water and it feels light like drops of water on your skin. So I know some people might be alarmed by that. I know I was when I first used it because when I first started using Unique Foundation, I had really bad acne. And um, I was concerned that it being so light, it was not going to cover, but that's not the case. In fact, all high def foundations are going to be this light, but you're gonna probably pay three times as much for a foundation that's high def. And that's what they use in all of like commercials and print work and stuff. They don't use a big, thick, heavy foundation cream because it settles and it shows. But look at how nicely that covered. It's honestly like the best. <sighs> Promise I have my life together. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with a uh, skin perfecting concealer. This is in the shade Scarlet. Hi, Christine. And we're going to go in and brighten up our under eyes and just highlight our face. So I just put like a little dab on the back of my hand like this. Like it's a very small amount. You can always add more if you need to, but one of these babies lasts me like five to six months. And another little trick with them is I cut the back off when I can no longer really squeeze enough out. And then I just take my concealer brush and dip it in the back. And I literally got an extra month of concealer out of this tube by doing that. So I just put like a little clip on the back to keep it closed so it doesn't dry out. And I use a concealer brush really from that point forward because I found that it distributed my makeup better and I used less of it. So I'm all about using less product because it looks better in the long run and it saves me money. So I can go buy new products, <laughs> new colors and things like that. But honestly, the best part about the kudos this month is that not only is it 30% off, but it's like getting the lipstick for free too. And I'm going to show you how to use one of the shadows in the quad as a highlighter. So not only do you get to use it on your eyes, but you can also use it as a highlighter on your face. So the areas that I'm putting this in, I do like the little upside down triangle under my eyes. I go on my chin. I kind of go up sides of my cheek like this. And then I do my forehead and my nose. And this is just gonna highlight and brighten my face for a really flawless finish. On top of the fact that it also has incredible coverage, this stuff will totally take out a tattoo if it need be. Okay. So that is also the beauty of using a concealer brush. I still have some left over on my hand, but it just distributes the, the material really well. And then I go in with the same sponge, I just use the short flat side, and I press it in. And I just kind of diffuse the edges, and it blends right into my foundation. Now, you will notice that I didn't do my foundation all the way up to my under eye, knowing that I was going to put concealer on. With your under eyes, the two things that you have to remember is because it's the thinnest skin on your body, 
it's going to show wrinkles the fastest. So you want to moisturize it the best that you can. That's always where I concentrate my up Uplift Beauty Serum. And it's always where I really gently exfoliate, like little teeny tiny circles back and forth. And then whenever I exfoliate, I put a drop each under each eye of the Uplift Beauty Serum. It's like liquid collagen. And I can see a marked difference in the morning when I wake up. My under eyes look just juicy and soft and honestly, and I would not say this if it weren't true, like I feel that the wrinkles look like they're gone. And I feel like this area is always the dead giveaway for aging. Okay, so that is all blended in now. I probably should have put my hair up, right? Okay, so now we're going to set our makeup with Touch Behold Setting Powder. Hi, Jill. Um, this is not going to give me any color on my face. It's just going to set my product so that it doesn't move all day. And I tap the majority of it off and just press it onto the areas that I concealed. Like so. So what that's going to do is it's going to absorb any extra moisture and it's going to prevent the heat of my body from moving this product around at all during the day. It'll be just as perfect when I go to take it off as it is when I do it immediately. And these things last easily six months because you don't have to go heavy handed on them. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is go in with a little pressed powder and this is in the shade Crepe pretty light because this time of year I am pretty light and I'm going to use my unique powder concealer brush why I like to do this with a pressed powder is it gives me like a Photoshop finish a total airbrush finish because it's got do you ever use an eyeshadow primer on your lids I don't because I feel like I don't really need to I guess if I was doing a really strong shadow look and I want like a cut crease, which I've kind of been trying to find the perfect one to manipulate and see if I can do, I have an eyeshadow primer, but I feel like my face primer kind of does the job for me and I haven't needed to go in with a secondary product. But if I was doing a cut crease, which is where you do shadow above your crease and then you keep your eyelid really neutral, I might do it there. I just really haven't had the need to invest in it. But it did come in my presenter's kit, so I have one. If you are a person whose eyelids get kind of greasy or oily or damp during the day though, that would be a good product to layer. I just find that adding a little of the Touch Glorious Primer to my eyelids does the trick for me because I don't really have very oily skin. But I could see that if you did, you might want to invest in it. Okay, so a second pressed powder in the shade Gingham. I'm gonna go in and just create a little bit of um, contour on my face. And it's not an aggressive contour because I really can't support an aggressive contour. Love the double use of all your products, right? Agree, a hundred percent. In fact, what I've been seeing a lot of presenters do too is that they will get a lipstick and they will ombre it out with a little concealer and it totally changes the color and it's already a product that you have. So now one lipstick shade is two lipstick shades just by adding concealer to it. It's a great tip. You can also add, if you want a really precise precision job on your eyeshadow, you could also put a little bit of concealer on your eyelids and just let it sit for a few minutes and then do your shadow. And it's gonna give you that very perfect eye look. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of contour. Hi, Stephanie. 
I'm going to do a little bit of contour on my forehead. Stephanie, we've come a long way from the aqua blue eyeshadow at Sneaky Pete's, haven't we? Um, <laughs> hi! Alright, so contour on your jawline, super important. At least for me it is. It really gives you like a chiseled jaw appearance. Easily takes off if I have to say, thank God. Um, I remember one night, Steph, we were going out to that place, Elda's in Troy. And we were like, we need to look really, really old. So everybody put on as much glitter and blue eyeliner as you possibly can. Because we were, what, like 15 or 16 going to an 18 and over club. Oh my God, we were so misguided. I don't even think I got in. I didn't even have the cojones to hand the guy my borrowed ID to get in. I was so chicken back then. All right, just because that was a good idea, right? We must have looked like My Little Pony slash strippers when we showed up. What were we even thinking back then? I'd love to know. And when my kids are that old, I'm going to be like, you're not going anywhere. You're never leaving the house. I've seen what you do when you leave the house. Okay. So the contour is on. Hi, Lauren. Contour is on, and now my face actually has a little bit of color in it. Thank you, God. And now we're going to add a little bit of blush. And since I'm doing kind of, I'm going to add a little bit of this lively color, which is sort of this like orangey pop. So because of that, I want to do a nice, simple, pretty neutral blush. And so I'm going to go in with the shade Seductive, which is like a dusty rose. It's so pretty right here. So I'm going to put a little bit of this right on the old cheekbone it wouldn't be alive if i didn't drop something so the blush is just going to go right at the top line of where you did your contour and then we will diffuse it out with just a brush with nothing on it big fluffy brush and i just kind of blend it out I don't want to look like great Aunt Betty who like never knew the, that blending was for anything other than like baking a cake. God rest her soul. She was a gem. Okay, so that is the shade Seductive. And now we're going to go in and do some eyeshadow. So I have, this is what comes in the kudos this month. You get a quad. So you pick four shadows, whichever you want, plus the, um, the palette a splash liquid lipstick and a mascara for 72. So the first thing I'm gonna do when I go in is I'm gonna take this shade, which is called Nimble, and I'm gonna put it all over my eyelid with a blending brush. So kind of concentrating on the crease and blending it out. And then I'm going to go in with Nonsensical, which is this really pretty, like, burgundy brown. And I'm going to take my fluffy crease brush, which is now available on the website. And I'm just going to take that from the corner and blend it right into the crease. I can't do one eye completely and then move on. I have to do them like evenly. It's it's like wrong to joke that it's OCD, but it's it's my own little brand of OCD, honestly. And I'm just gonna blend that out. I have to have symmetry or I freak. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with this shade, which is a little shockingly orange. I know what you're thinking. I was watching makeup videos yesterday, and some of them did the darkest shade first. Do you think 
there is a benefit or do you always use light first? I've been watching videos as well. And there are some makeup artists who insist on one way and then there are some that insist on another. I find that doing a light shade first puts like a sort of a blendable coat on your eyelid so that all the shades that you blend into it after that tend to go on like they glide on so smooth so that's personally why I like to go on with a neutral shade first and it neutralizes the whole area it's always easier to make things darker than it is to take something that's dark and lighten it up so I kind of like to gauge whatever my neutral is in terms of its darkness first before I go in with something really heavy and then have an eye look that's too aggressive for what I want to go for. That's just me personally. I do know that some people will take a dark shade like in their crease first and then they'll just layer it with lighter shades knowing that they're going to blow it out and diffuse it that way. For me it's just kind of easier. I feel like I use less product when I start with the light shade first and then I can sort of tailor where I want the dark shade to go. But I've done it both ways. I just always tend to go back to start with my neutral and then add my layers in. Um, all right, so I'm gonna grab some of this and I'm gonna put it basically on my crease and just kind of blow it out onto my eye orbit with my fluffy crease brush. I want to see this color show up in the outside of my eye. I wanna see like a little bit of brightness I feel like it'll just give a little bit of like fun vibrancy to my eye. breezy and now I'm gonna take my deluxe brush and I'm gonna grab the shade optimistic which is this prismatic ivory and I'm gonna grab it and just place it on my lid from the inside corner and just wipe it over this is a metallic shade we were talking about metallics yesterday whether they worked for every day or if they made you look kind of like you know you're trying too hard but this is why I like to go in with my highlight on my eye last and place it exactly where I want I love this brush because it's angled and you can kind of really get into just the areas you want your shadow to show up in so this kind of gives me the effect of a cut crease shadow look without like primering and concealing and going in multiple steps. And I'm going to add just a little bit more of the nonsensical right in the crease just to darken it up in the corners. And I'm also going to use nonsensical as a eyeliner. So I have that angled brush, wherever she is, where are you? Okay, so this is one of my favorite tools. It's a little angled shadow brush, and I always keep a little glass of water here. I wet it, I just drag it on the shadow, and now it's eyeliner. Couldn't be easier. What's also amazing about it is that you can blend it out when it's dry, just like a regular shadow powder. I feel like it looks super natural as well. And then I'm just going to add a little bit to my lower lash line. Concentrating it in the corners and really kind of going lightly towards the front. 
There you are. I'm gonna use this optimistic shade as highlight when we're ready for that step two so the quad palette is not going away. And I can feel that the liner is wet on my eye so I'm just gonna give it a second to relax before I do anything to it. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that orange right to the outside. That's the shade Lively. And just blend it into the nonsensical. All right, so let's do mascara. Epic Mascara comes in the kudos this month. And I'm just going to use a mirror when I get to. I don't know how anyone uses these mirrors to actually do their makeup because to me they get so filthy from product sitting underneath it. I need like a pristine mirror or else I just, I don't know what my deal is. Another one of my little Megan nuances. I always do two coats of Epic. The second coat is really what like lengthens and separates everything. I watched someone a makeup video where someone was able to put their their mascara on with their eyes closed. I was baffled. Hi, Court. Totally baffled how you do that, but she did it. She did a great job, too. Okay, second coat. Um, another little tidbit, I find that doing two coats of the Epic replaces doing a primer, an eyelash primer on your eyes, but if you feel like you need extra length that you're just ab not able to get with um, mascara alone, we do sell this. It, these are 3D fiber lashes. So what this comes with is an eye primer, and then it comes with transplant fiber. So you put it on, hi Jackie. You put on like regular mascara, you give it like 10 seconds, and then you add the 3D fiber lashes. They attach to the transplant gel, and they literally like, it's like watching a Chia Pet. It was like, whoo, your eyelashes bloom. And then you put another layer of the transplant gel on. Um, so everything is super dark and jet black, but your eyelashes look like you could, hi girl, your eyelashes look like you could clean the floor with them. They're so long. so. If you're a person who loves a dramatic eye look and you're just not able to achieve it with regular mascara, hi Kristen, and you don't wanna do falsies, it's like a falsy mascara. All right, so let's do just our lower lashes really quick. Lower lashes are always my struggle because mine are super thin and very blonde. How's the man flu going? The man flu is better today. Um, there is less whining and moaning out of the downstairs of my house, but I'm still on 24 hour call to be fetching things. And I made another pot of chicken soup today and banana bread and superfood smoothies for everyone. But I will say, I've like stripped all the beds and done all the laundry because I'm terrified I will come down with it. And if I go down, like there is no one at the helm of the ship then. So I've kind of just been doing all of the things in case I become infected. And then there's no one to do laundry and cook. So I feel like I'm doomsday prepping like with everything I do to make sure that I'm not the next victim of man flu. Okay, so let's go in with Moodstruck Brow Obsession Palette in the shade Brunette. And I'm just going to go in like I normally do with my um, Brow Artist brush. This is the original. They would never survive. I had the flu. Quick little interjection. I had the flu only once that I can remember, and it was when I was pregnant with Dylan. So it was um, four years ago. I got it after going to a bridal show and I was like 36 or 37 weeks pregnant and Justin would literally like throw granola bars at me into bed from the door because he didn't want to get it and then I was asleep one night and I literally my heart was racing and I could not calm down 
So I drove myself at 3 a.m. to that Ellis Emergent Care in Clifton Park. And like I went in and there's nobody there and they took like incredible care of me. But my heart rate was like 130 just laying in bed. And they were like, you're like, it's like you're running right now. Your heart is going so fast because I was really dehydrated from the fever. So they hooked me up to like IV fluids and then sent me home. And it was so much better. Hi, Stacy. But that was the only time I've had the flu. So I know like the body aches are real and just like being exhausted is real. Not being able to breathe sucks. Um but my mom basically took care of me then because Justin was like terrified of me because he didn't want to get it but when you have kids and there is man flu going around you really don't get to bow out of the whole caretaker process like mom hold me what are you supposed to say to that like no I'm a sucker for a snuggle too so I don't know how to say no, when, especially the little one. It's like, Mom, I just want to lay with you. I'm like, whatever you need. Let's do it. I won't breathe for 30 minutes while we have a snuggle sesh. He's so chintzy with his snuggles. He likes Daddy. But Daddy handles him like a bomb that's going to detonate when he's sick. So what are you going to do? I burned my hand two nights ago and my mom was like, do I need to come do the dishes and laundry? Or is Sean gonna do it currently with the stomach? Ugh, the stomach bug. No, 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 no. That is a hard one for me because I do not handle vomit well. Justin is the vomit cleaner up parent in this house. I'll totally give him that. When there is puke to be dealt with, he's the man. He doesn't even like trouble me with doing it because he knows that I will fall apart. Um, I'm just, I've never been able to tolerate it. Um, but everything else kind of falls on mom's plate. I've been reading about what you're going through, Stacy, and I feel for you, especially when it's a little one. Just be glad that she's in diapers if it's as bad as it's could be because I remember when we were potty training Chase and he got the stomach bug and he like wasn't wearing a diaper and <laughs> he had no idea how fast these things happen it was a disaster truly a disaster they're so pathetic when they're sick though like they're just the saddest little people ever luckily they bounce back faster than adults do Hi, Diana. But boys, boys are just not hardy. Like, I, I, I fail to understand how women got labeled the weaker sex. This is our brow obsession palette. So in it has a pomade, a dark shadow, a light shadow, and then these are highlights. Um, Stacey Austin pukes like the exorcist. I had to go. That's how Justin pukes. Like, the noises... He actually broke all the blood vessels in his face one night when he got sick because he's like a power puker. I don't understand how this happens. I don't understand. Okay, so I usually just kind of like diffuse my brows out when I do them just so they have like a really natural sort of look to them. And then I'm going to take the concealer I have left on the back of my hand and I'm going to go underneath them for like a pretty matte highlight. And it just like cleans up the edge of the brow and makes them look perfect. Oh, I gotta go. The seven year old is fishing. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Solidarity, sister. Just keep them healthy. Yeah, my kids are going at each other like two hungry stray cats in an alley, honestly, because they've been together for days on end now. So it's like, I'm just, I'm not a parent anymore, I'm a referee. It's too much togetherness. They do need to get back to life outside of this house. But I'm the first one to admit that I'm paranoid about the outside world during cold and flu season because man flu. It's happened. I came into the house despite my best efforts. Hopefully tomorrow 
by tomorrow this should all be done, right? But just cleaning up your brows like that, like such a pretty finish. All right, so we're going to use that shade Optimistic now, and we're going to go in and use it as a highlight shade on the top of my cheekbones. Like, look at that. Just dusting. It's, it's an eyeshadow. It's a highlight. So pretty. And then I put a little bit over the top of my brows. A little down the side of my nose and I'm like Cupid as well all right so now we're gonna go in and do lips so I just opened up a new plush eye line, lip liner because I have no idea where my little one went and I'm gonna line my lips so if I don't talk for a second it's just because I don't want it to be like all over the place If you're going to overline your lips, which means going just on the outside of your lips, still where your lips are and not your regular skin, don't do it all the way around or you'll look like you're doing the Kylie Jenner lip challenge. Just concentrate it on the top and the bottom and then follow the actual line of your lip everywhere else. So you can kind of exaggerate it down here, but then bring it back up. And then again on the top, follow, you can go a little bit wider on your cupid's bow. But then follow the line on the sides. So this is plush lip liner. It's like a faded mauve color. And now we're gonna go in with my new favorite. This is called Subtle Splash Liquid Lipstick, available in this month's kudos. The Splash Liquid Lipsticks go on best on dry lips. So if you have like a lip moisturizer or a lip plumper, or anything like that and you're gonna to wanna to just dry it off with uh, tissue before you apply. And I just kind of blend it right into my lip liner. With the applicator. And this lip lipstick honestly wears like braided steel. It wears so well. So remember we were talking about multi-use products. I have a little bit of concealer, but I'm gonna add just a touch more, and I'm gonna show you how you can use a touch of concealer to change your lip color. So this is perfect just the way that it is. Like, I absolutely adore it. But if I take a pinch of concealer, and just apply it right to the inside, of my lips it like lightens and brightens it up and it like gives it a whole other brighter pink look look at that Just clean up that line. But it's that's so pretty. It's almost got like a little bit of a purple tint to it, like a faded, a faded lavender pink, which I personally love because I feel like it plays off really well on my green eyes. So I'm just gonna blend my eyeshadow one last time before I do any setting spray. So pretty. So so pretty. Okay, so Touch Behold Setting Spray is what I use to keep my makeup on my face all day long. Just 
three good sprays, one right down the center, one on each side. It's gonna hold your makeup perfectly all day. Trust me, I've, I've tested the limits of that statement and I have not been disappointed. So there we have our neutral kudos look of the day. Um, I've kind of been using the same techniques over and over and over again because I want to show you how versatile the eyeshadows are. I use this as an eyeliner. This combo is killer. Thank you so much. I use this nonsensical as a liner and I used optimistic as both an eyeshadow and a highlight. And then these are also, you can even use this as a, um, like an sort of a corally pop on your cheek as a blush too. So these have a ton of different uses. And I was watching a presenter the other day from London and he took a, one of our new splash liquid lipsticks and he put it on his eye like a cream shadow and then he waited until it dried and he blended it out with a blending brush and it looked so beautiful. I was like, well, now I have to get that lipstick and try it. So like, and he, I think he even took a little bit of it and like used it like a cream blush on his cheek. And I was like, well, why didn't I think of that? So there you have it, folks. I'm, I'm ready to tackle the rest of the day and see what it has in store for me. Um, but if you have any questions, also this month I wanted to remind you, um, any remaining skincare is still 25% off. We are relaunching our brand new skincare on the 15th of this month, which is actually 15 days ahead of schedule. Um, so it's called Uology, and a lot of our favorites are coming back, like the Uplift Beauty Serum. Thanks, Steph. Um, like all of our masks are staying, they're just like rebranded, and then we're getting a whole bunch of new products that I can't wait to try. So keep an eye out for that. And um, this month when you host a party, as long as it does $300 in sales, you get a free Epic Mascara and a free Lash Esteem Lash Boost Serum, which helps your lashes grow um, about 30 to 40% longer and thicker. So praise hands on that one. So if you guys have any questions about being, hi Jordan, about being color matched or about products or the right products for you, um, just let me know, shoot me a message and I can respond right back to you. Um, if you want to order any products, I suggest starting a party and ordering from that. That way you get the hostess rewards so that when you place future orders, you just use the free cash that they give you from that towards your future orders and get money off of it because why wouldn't you? Such a great deal that way. So there we have it, loves. I will be back on Tuesday. If I'm not back before then, send a search party to 39 Pepper Hollow Drive because the man flu has taken me under and mama can't hang. But I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Like and share. And um, when we get to 100 people on my new um, M Fresh business page, I'm gonna do a giveaway. I don't know when it's gonna be yet, but it's gonna be something. So I love you guys and we will see you on the flip side. Stay healthy. You don't wanna end up like me. Bye.